everyone, welcome back to It's All Eats. I'm excited about this. Adelaide Central Markets. It's a food specialty market with over 70 specialty stores inside. Everything from Italian to Spanish to coffee places. It's, it's cracker inside. So we're here, it's downtown Adelaide. I think we're actually in Chinatown. Uh, we are, we're in Chinatown part of Adelaide, but it doesn't have nothing to do with Chinatown. It's just in it, coincidentally, you get it? Let's go. Artisan butchers, chocolate, chocolate places, like everything, cuz. Nice and early, we're here at 10 a.m., all right? So it's, it's not too busy, but the thing is, it looks like one in every six shops isn't open yet, because we're a bit early, but it's a trade-off, right? We could be here and everyone's, ah, and you can't order food. I don't, I'm trying to avoid that. Algerian paella. South Aussie mussels, chicken, sausages, capsicum. How are ya? Can you handle it? Of course I can, voila. <laughs> you got yourself a date from Africa, Sahara. Oh, no way, beautiful. Hey, Mr. Cameraman, I'll date you. Mm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Can I get a paella, please? Chicken or vegetarian? Chicken, please. Sure. Thank you. Oh, dates, lad. Candy dates. It was nice. 2020 Traveler's Choice. What it says? It's the top 10% of restaurants worldwide. Wow. You're getting me excited, Bala. So if you want to impress anyone, get the lamb tagine. That's a big thing. It's cooked over seven hours. That's all. That's absolutely cracker, cars. Wow. Thank you, Bala. Enjoy. Thank you. Look at this lad, Algerian style paella. Well, cause this looks hectic. He put some type of, this is what I mean lad. First store we come to, first store. There's another 68 to go, what are you talking about cuz? Oh lad, so I got homemade salsa cuz. I got homemade salsa, I got homemade chili sauce, it's gone. Oh bruh. Cause that is off his head, bro. That is legitimately, I'm trying to consider whether that's the best paella I've ever had. Wow. That home done chili sauce tastes like a salsa, cause like a salsa, like a home done salsa, but thicker, not runny, not too hot. Beautiful. The paella. Very similar to like Spanish paella tasting. I think it's better cars, I swear to God. Where there's bits of it, where the rice was on the, on the, on the bottom, and it sounds like crispy. So you go through, like here, like that. And you get those bits of, like, like it's, it's, it's almost burnt rice, but it's hectic, it adds to the flavor, man. Well, I wish I had somebody that I could give away the food to after every time. I'm gonna be giving away all this food. I gotta find someone. But then again, you're like a weirdo. When you go and ask people, do you wanna finish my food? They're like, no. Yuck. You know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta throw it out. What else do I do? Baba, that's beautiful. I wish I could eat it all. I gotta eat at every store. I can only have a few bites. Yeah, give me that this one. And put you the lid on the top and take it with you. Oh, can you? Yes. Please, thank you. Thanks, brother. Thank, thank you, eh? Thank you. Beautiful. Falafel. I'm getting a falafel wrap. I'm getting a falafel wrap, 100%. Hey, how are you? Not bad, how are you? Uh, good, thank you. Halloumi or falafel, what should I get? The swap is named after falafel. Then let's go. Real falafels, beautiful. So you can add halloumi as well if you want to. Yeah, add halloumi on it, beautiful. Halloumi and falafel pizza. Uh, the falafel pizza is 13. You add halloumi two extra, so it was 15 with halloumi. Oh, thank you. Course. Thanks, brother. Have a nice one, brother. You too, brother. Look at these cars. So cabbage, chips, falafel, halloumi, grilled halloumi, hot sauce, hummus. Down there is like tomato and uh, cucumber. Yum, on a pizza. Oh, that. Well, that's gum. Bread's fresh. This is what, this is the vibe I'm getting from this place. Everything we sell and every ingredient on it is home done. We do it. Nothing's coming out of like Woolworths. You know what I mean? That's that's the whole vibe here. If there's cucumber and tomato on your thing, we dice it up. We dress it. We don't, you know? 
well close. Look at that. The halloum is done. Green falafel inside. Brown on the outside, green on the inside. Oh my god. But I don't even like falafels. I swear I don't. Well. That's cracker. Hot sauce. Not even hot. It's not even hot. I'm coming up with my own hot sauce. That's the only thing here in Australia. No matter where you are, can you handle the hot sauce? Put it on, cuz. Next minute, it tastes like it's like tomato sauce. Relax. Cracker. Cracker. Cakes. French cake store. Yum. Creme brulees. But they got other specialty coffee places. This is a specialty cake store. So I'll go do a manoeuvre on the specialty coffee place, bring it back in and get a specialty cake lad. Because we're a special type of person. What is that? That's so interesting, cuz. They're just putting on paella, like South American one, but we just had the Algerian one. They got paellas from all over the world here. Next down there's gonna be things. So sad here. Wow. What is this called? Cheese. Halloumi cheese, empanada. Empanadas? Yeah, empanada, yeah, beautiful. Halloumi cheese empanadas. Yum. Well, how long did I take to cook? Uh, maybe one hour. An hour? They look cracker. That was beautiful, thank you. The Metworth shop. See what I mean, cuz? Look at these shops, lad. That's hectic. Well, hot pepperonis. And, and the smell of this whole place, it's like a deli cause, you know, it's, it's a mixture between paellas getting cooked, souvlaki bars, and delicatessen smell. What's the most popular of these? I want three of these. Give me your three most popular, please. White rose and pistachio, beautiful. A choc rose sounds good. Yeah, beautiful. That looks very interesting. Rose and rose petals, thank you. Mediterranean sweets. So this was their most popular one, pistachio one. That tastes like, sort of the taste of Turkish delight with pistachio on the outside. Even though it's white, it still tastes like Turkish delight. Cracker. Oh, wow. Look at that, full covered in rose petals. <laughs> That's so rose now, it's cracker. It's like rose flavoured, sort of like a fudge inside. With roses on the outside. Grindmaster, our first coffee overdose specialists. Serving coffee since 1965. Hello, how are you? Can I get um, a small latte, please? What type of coffee are you using? Super crema number five. We'll see how this goes. Beautiful. Thank you, brother. Well, that looks creamy as cars. I can tell by the movement. Yeah, you can see by the way it wobbles. Oh, it wobbles like it's custard. Bro. That coffee is off its guts, I swear on anything. Wow, cars, what is that? I wanna go back, what coffee was that? There it is. Our signature blend using the finest Colombian, Kenyan, Costa Rican and Guatemalan coffees, the roasted to perfection. This amazing coffee has a wonderful clean flavor with a lovely rich creamy finish. Wow, oh, that is the Gunners coffee. I swear on my mum, I swear to God, I swear on anything that I can swear of, of any significance, this is the best coffee I've ever had, I promise you. Wow, cars. What is going on? That's the best coffee I've ever had. The preparation of it, everything, cars. How hot, it's so hot, it's so creamy, it tastes so perfect, bro. That's the best coffee I've ever had. Cause I don't need to say that, I've done episodes of best coffee in Melbourne, in Sydney, that is the best coffee I've ever had. Oh here, yeah, dropiest, cause, dropiest. 
Legitimate Dutch Dropius. This must be a Dutch store. Hey, can I get some Dropius, please? Thank you. Um, some of the double salt and some of the cats, please. Well, wow. see those little diamonds here? They're the triple salted ones. They're intense, those ones there, yeah. For you that don't know, Dutch licorice is like salted licorice. It sounds weird, but it's hectic. Wow, that's actually a lot for $5. I didn't think there'd be that much. Real drop years, cuz. Bro, what a coffee. We're not even halfway through, cuz. What a coffee, cuz. Wow. <laughs> Look how much there is. DZ, it's double salt, <laughs> double salted. Oh, they're very, because it's cold, they rock hard. They're usually soft, but because it's like 10 degrees. Well, well. The best way to explain them is, it does, it does taste like licorice, right? But it doesn't taste like salt. It tastes like, it's hard, hard to explain it, bro. It's like a flavored licorice, but it's really, one, intense, and two, unique. So it's like someone that has Vegemite for the first time. Most people who bite these for the first time, I know 100% if I gave this to my cameraman, he'll taste it, he'll go, oh, what's that? All right, but anyone does that. Same if no one's had Vegemite, but you say to them like, bro, think about it. Like, relax, taste it again, and, re and prepare for it. And then it's like, oh, bro, what? That's actually mad. That's the only way I can explain these. I didn't think she was going to give me 784 of them. I wanted like maybe 10 at the most, so I said, I don't know, like five bucks. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not throwing these in the bin, I promise. I'll keep them for the plane ride home. I love my job, bro. I love my job. So it's, it's mad here they got actual fruits and vegetables. Like you can do shopping here, you know what I mean? So this side, like as you can see, this whole, I would say 30% of the markets, is all like fruits and vegetables. Like fresh fruits and vegetables and breads and stuff and maybe like a butcher or two. And, a, and there's a juice bar down there. So we're not gonna go down this side, you know what I mean? We'll just stay to where the food's being cooked. Another, another coffee spell. I'm still sipping this one, cuz. They're gonna have tough competition in these places. How cool is Adelaide, bro? How mad is Adelaide's food hall? I'd refer to this as a food hall. The essential markets. I don't even have one of these back home in Sydney cars. Where is it? Jeez. So, everyone tells me that this place is famous. Everyone tells me that these, these rolls they got here, what are they called, paninis or whatever they are, that they're famous. Oh yeah, you can see you're making it over there. Oh yeah, can I get an original panini please? No, thank you. $14 original panini, they are, they are actually pretty big. I'll take a few bites. Yum. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Bruh. The old famous Panini's $14, brother. Let's ouch. This is legit what everyone was saying, cuz. Most of the... When I get the, the little hints of ruse, you know what I mean? Welcome. Well. Welcome. Well. Imagine, imagine a meat roll, tender meat, veggies on there that are full zesty dressed cold veggies and the meat, chocolate with meat, has a flavor of fried onion slash chicken stuffing. Onion slash chicken stuffing flavored tender meat, but also there's like crackling in it. So that meat tastes like that, yet there's crackling in it, and the veggies taste like that on a mad oil Italian bread roll. That's what these paninis are. Well, well, 10 out of 10, cuz. Look at that. It is crackly. Pause. Pause. Well. Well, I mean, 
any way too much, cuz. 10 out of 10, bro. I don't know what the, the star of the show is. That, the coffee, everything has been hectic. That paella, every single thing I've had has been cracker. Guys, look at these places. Lucious. It's like a pizza and spaghetti bar, and the same store has a deli next to it. Yum. Pizzas, pastas, light refreshments. You're gonna get a pizza? Do you reckon that I order a pizza? It's a bit much. We, 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 we gotta judge their pizzas, right? You just wait out here. You just wait, you just wait there. You just wait there. I've got a pizza special. It's like an authentic style pizza, but I've seen it. It's got cheese, tomato, anchovies, and olives. All the goodnesses. Thirteen fifty. I don't know what size. You don't pick a size. So whatever big it is, thirteen fifty. <laughs> the woman serving me goes, "Oh my god, are you Spanian?" I said, "Yeah." She goes, "My ex-boyfriend used to show me all your videos. There's like a video where you're like hiding in a bush and throwing a rock." <laughs> And I go, yeah, yeah, that's a video oh. of mine. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, actually, what is that? What is this? Cuz, what's that? That's so interesting. I've never seen a pizza look like this. Bruh, don't tell me they're big sliced olives. Ooh, you'll try, brother. I had to break out in gospel cause we're talking about cars. This is the most interesting pizza I've seen. Toma tomato cheese, olives, and anchovies. Well, cuz. The base is really thick. A really thick base. It's puffed into like an oval shape. I've never seen a pizza like this. I'm going to Rome to shoot it or eat soon. I wonder if this is how the pizzas are in Italy. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out when I go there in August, won't we? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just got tingles in my whole body, cuz. The olive is so good. Thick chunks of it cut like steaks, like pieces of meat. The anchovy is the strongest, saltiest, most beautiful anchovy I've ever tasted. The bread, is thick, but soft and puffy. The cheese tastes crispy and fried, like fried cheese taste. Crispy cheese on the top. Well, cause wow, what is this? Brother, I'm taking another bite of all the goodness. I can't eat all this, cuz. Look how much I've eaten. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal all the Goodnesses and put them on this one. Bro, wow. This is me in a slice of pizza. <laughs> Bro, that tomato base, look at that. Look at that. That's a full home done tomato base. It's even got this tomato skin in it. I picked through the tomato base and, and, you, and there was like shreds of the tomato skin in it. That's how you know, that's how you know they're doing it. Cause what, what is that? Phenomenal. Every single feed I've had so far is phenomenal. I can't even breathe. We're pretty much at the end of this cooked, prepared food section. What I gotta do is what I promised. We're going back to that other coffee shop. I'm saying, give me your best coffee, and we're gonna do a drive-by on the pastry place, cause I promised we'd go back there. You know that French pastry? Let's go. Wow. Wow. That smell hectic. Hello, mate. What bean are we using today? We're using the Jessica. Beautiful. Can I get that latte? One sugar, please. Small size. Yeah, thank you. 450, the jazz blend. I got it in latte, cafe latte, one sugar. I should have said no lid, come. Back to that cake shop like I promised. Canel, coconut fan fan, pasita. We're back with the sweets, brother. I told you I was coming back here. I want one of these cars. The canelle, one of these. 
They look like little beautiful little roasted custard balls. Little towers, little leaning tower of pizza custard, custard tarts. Crispified and custardized inside. Hey, how are you? Can I get one of those, please? Uh, yeah, take away, yeah. What is it called? Cannelli. 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 Hey, let's go, man. It's called cannoli. Thank you. Keep the change. Thank you. I hope it is what I said it is. Cannoli. <laughs> it's called cannoli. <laughs> That's what it's called, bro. Cannoli. All right. Here's the latte. It smells good. Remember, it's competing with the first one. The preparation of it is just as good. That is thick, the consistency is beautiful. Mad cream at the top. Look at it, it's moving like it's moving like it's made of jelly. But the bean ain't as nice. Has a hint of something a little different. I can't explain it, but it's not as nice, all right? But it's still gone, but mate, it was never beaten that other coffee. Let's be real. Oh, this one's full roasted, lad. What? Oh, it's like a pastry, cuz. Wow. Can early. I've never had this before, cuz. I'm dipping it in. That's nice. It's not what I thought. It's not custard. It's like... It's like a soaked pastry, cuz. And it takes on like... But then it's like it's cooled so much that it thickens up. It's like a... It does have a custard taste to it, like an eggy custard taste, sweetened, like a sweet, like a dessert, obviously. It's nice. Cannelli. Well, cause I'm done. Well, this place is cracked up, bro. Let's come. Adelaide Central Markets, the food hall, the food market, downtown Adelaide, where Chinatown is. Well, well, cause. Wow, I was looking forward to it. So many people suggested I was looking at it. I was just watching videos, reading Google about it. Wow, I'm not disappointed. That is cracker, cuz. I can't believe I found the best coffee ever I've ever had in Chinatown in Adelaide. Wow.